Hi, I'm Carrie Bible of FilmRadar.com, and I'm here in the historic Westwood Crest Theater talking with Franklin Martin, the director of Hurricane Season. Hey, Franklin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so tell me about your film. Um, well, first, I'm, I love this theater. I'm very happy you guys had us here, and uh, Brainstorm's putting on a great series. I really appreciate uh, you guys supporting documentaries. I found these guys by fate, and I had flown actually from uh, California to New York for a 9-11 event. I got there a week early from my best friend whose brother had passed away in 9-11. And by the time I got off the plane, I had read a thousand, every article you could read on Katrina. And um, I told my friend, I said, I, I gotta go down there. I was in a hotel, not a hotel, a motel, because I think there's a difference. Uh, it was a little uh, Holiday Inn, and there was a lot of people that had, they were displaced from Katrina. and. An old woman said to me, uh, I think you really want to do something on some little high school in the middle of nowhere. So um, I said, you know what, you're right. Found this article about East St. John, the high school that I did it on, and they were playing Hanville. And I drove uh, nine hours in, in total fright and scare because on the way down there, there was logs and trees and everything you can imagine. It took me twice as long as it should have. Uh, and when I got there, <laughs> I was exhausted. And <laughs> the coach looked at me and just hugged me and said, "Come eat with us." And um, I said, "I can't. I'm not. I can't eat any of you guys' food." And he said, "No, no, we got plenty." And that was their attitude. Like they just, they just uh, totally embraced me. Uh, the star of the film uh, is a black kid named Stanley uh, Jackson, who really goes from one to another. You see this great transformation of him, and and it happened. But I had to show the bad in order for you to see the good. If you see the film, you know that it's about um, racial and religious tolerance and putting others before yourself and, and teamwork. You know it. It's what it is. Because in order for them to survive this, um, the worst natural disaster in our country's history, they had to put their selves aside and do what was best for the collective group and the team, and the power of teamwork is unbelievably powerful. For me, I look for things that inspire me. Um, and I don't mean just like, like that, I'm talking about emotionally. So this hit me, and I, was, that I could see me spending four years of my life with these people. Or, and I say that, and I don't mean that I was with them for four years, but you're also in an editing room, and then, you know, so it's not just shooting it. In screening it for some people out here, they go, you got something really good. And I said, all right, I'm going to release it. So we, uh, we four-walled in Louisiana, in New Orleans, and we were the number one film documentary in the country for two weeks. It would be great. I hope the people in L.A. like it. I think, I think they will. Um, and that will be important to me, but um, as long as the people down there are happy, um, okay.